Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly forecast for August 26th through September 1st. This is our last summer ocean mermaid reading. Next week we're going to have a whole new theme. But we're going to connect here and see what's coming up for our Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising friends. We've got a new moon at the end of the week, so we're going to see how that energy is affecting you. We're going to see all what else is coming up for you in the week ahead so i'm feeling like there's stability coming your way cancer i'm feeling a lot of stability or stable energy headed your way there's your wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday so some of you might be in the planning stages of something we'll connect here see what's coming up and then after we look at these cards i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull a spirit message for you from a different deck um, oh my goodness. So this seems to be our stalker card for this week. This card has come up so far for every single one of you. And I'm only three readings in. So again, I shuffled. You all saw me shuffle. But this seems to be coming up in the beginning of the week. So I did say that I felt like there was some kind of stability or foundation coming your way. So it doesn't surprise me that this card's coming up. Cancer, I feel like some of you are pulling away from certain friends or family um, as you're getting very clear about what you want to do and what direction you want to go in with your life. I feel like there's something a lot of you have been wanting to do for a very long time, but you haven't been doing it because too many people were either distracting you or discouraging you. That's the feeling and the sense that I'm getting from this card. So you are kind of pulling away and trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to move forward. Like you're even maybe sneaking around doing this. I feel like some of you are like, uh, like maybe even like secretly taking some kind of class or, or trying to go back to school on like the down low, or you're just doing something in a way where you don't want people to find out because you don't want to hear their negative opinions about it. So with you guys, like with Aquarius and Aries, I kind of got a sense of like avoiding people. But for you guys, I feel like you're flat out like sneaking around, but not because you're doing something bad or something shady, but because you know that people are going to have too many opinions. So you're doing things on a very like kind of, you know, on the down low kind of way. You're not wanting to have interference. You're not wanting to hear people discouraging you. I also feel some of you, Cancer, um, friends, are going to be in the energy of um, like physically wanting to, to, to go uh, maybe stay with friends or relatives in a different place or in a different location while you're going through this process or while you're going through this change. Some of you are wanting to get like a just a change of, of scenery or um, sp spend some time away while you're working on yourself. Um, this card, like in the book, it talks about um, some people might be escaping from responsibility or things that are feeling very restrictive. Um, but this is time for you to figure out how to better your situation. I don't feel like you guys are doing anything wrong. I don't feel like you guys are escaping from responsibility. In fact, I just feel like you all are taking back your power, but you're, you're doing it in a way where you, you're trying to avoid confrontation. You're doing it kind of secretive because you know that people are going to say, oh, why are you doing that? And you shouldn't do it this way and you shouldn't do it that way. So you're just, you're keeping your plans to yourself, which sometimes is a very smart thing to do. Your Wednesday, Thursday cancer is muse. Okay. So in the process of like this, uh, um, you know, like kind of elusive energy, you may also be feeling a lot of inspiration. Okay. A muse is a very inspiring being. It's like the spirit of inspiration, creation. It's associated with writing and music and art. So in this process, a lot of you might be doing something where you're documenting this process. You might be journaling about it, or you might be uh, feeling like you kind of want to venture emotions and feelings, and you might be doing something like a, 
um, you know, doing something creative or artistic as a way where you're venting. And this is becoming a way that you're really creating, connecting with your creativity. And I feel that a lot of you are going to find a lot of talents that you didn't know that you had, and you may even be sharing them with other people. Whatever the case, even if you're not doing this in an artistic way, you are in the spirit of creating changes in your life, positive changes in your life. And I do feel some of you have a muse that's coming in and inspiring you. And midweek, you may be connecting with this person, okay? This could be a best friend. This could be a relative. It could be a sibling. Um, it could be a love partner for some of you, um, a coworker, a mentor. It can come in in many different ways. But I do feel cancer that this is somebody from your soul tribe or soul family and for some of you it's like your first soul tribe or soul family person that you're encountering it's the first of many that are going to be coming in because you are breaking out of a very negative environment or you're breaking out or breaking away from people who have a very negative mindset so it's like you're you're encountering this first kind of breath of fresh air and somebody who is inspiring you that wow you know like you can make these changes so I do feel this is someone that they've been through a lot of what you've been through they know where you're coming from they know what what you're dealing with and so um, you feel very inspired by them and their energy I do feel this is someone very intuitive Okay, and I do feel this is somebody that might be into very kind of mystical things. So especially those of you who um, you're like on more of a spiritual path and you're kind of getting more connected with, uh, you know, metaphysics and things like that. And you're like, man, it would be so cool if I could meet or connect with someone who had these similar interests as me. I feel like that wish is coming true in the middle of the week, like you have this person coming in that's going to be very encouraging and inspiring for you. Uh, for some of you, it could be where you're following uh, the teachings of like a spiritual teacher or you're coming across an online community um, that is sharing a message or um, something like these kinds of videos or social media that is inspiring you where you feel like, wow, these like videos or posts or card of the day or whatever is really inspiring me and really giving me ideas so and in that process you know you're, you're coming into the energy of connecting with your soul family as well but you guys are kind of picking up as it's getting closer to that new moon on friday you're picking up that fire energy you know this is a new moon in mars so there's a lot of passion with it there's a lot of fire in it and so you guys are picking up that inspiration early on your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card is withdrawn, okay? So this doesn't have to be in a sad or negative way. This is in a way where you're coming into this energy where you're able to take some time and figure out what you want to do and disconnect from the negativity, right? When you think of a great artist, you know, they can go and lock themselves up in their studio or in their workshop and they can get really busy with what they're doing. And Cancer, I feel like that's the energy a lot of you are getting into to the point or to the extent that your friends or family may be reaching out to you and kind of like teasing you like, oh, did you find a new boyfriend? Did you find a new girlfriend? Like, I don't hear from you anymore. What's going on? Who are you off with? And some of you are like, you're not even interested in relationships at all. You're just so focused on what you're wanting to create in your life and on this project that you're working on. I feel, Cancer, that you guys just feel really completely and totally unfulfilled with the way life has been. And as we're coming into that new moon energy on Friday, you're really just wanting to be alone and planning the future of what you're wanting to change and what you're wanting to create you're seeing where you're unhappy in your life this is not a negative thing uh rumi who is a poet philosopher you know spiritual um teacher i should say was he's no longer living but he talked about something called divine discontentment sometimes when we're unhappy or we're not satisfied it's a gift 
because it helps us realize that, hey, you know what, I deserve a lot more. Or, you know, God, universe, like, intends for me to be happy. And I just have to reach for what's going to bring me this happiness. So don't automatically take it as, oh, you're being negative. Oh, you know, you're not being in an energy of, like, you know, being grateful. You can be grateful but still be in discontentment because you're realizing that, hey, it's okay for me to aim higher. And that's the energy I feel like a lot of you are in um, in the in the coming uh, week ahead. And so again, this is a gift and a chance for you to reorganize and to reach for better, to aim for better. We're going to go ahead and see what spirit message is coming up for you in the week ahead. And as always, guys, watch your, uh, your moon and rising videos as well, because some weeks it's going to resonate with you more or bring in a little extra information. Your spirit message is the bottle nose dolphin safe shores of emotional and physical security are yours, right? So see, even as like you're withdrawn, you might be thinking or you might be seeing ways in which certain friends or family members or situations, maybe like they haven't had your back. And so you're thinking about how can you rely on yourself or how can you create something that's going to be solid for yourself. And this card basically is letting you know that you are safe and that you are going to have this emotional and physical security and fulfillment. You're just taking this time to step away and figure it out. Um, I do feel some of you are going to have Archangel Jophiel around you a lot this week ahead. I know Archangel Jophiel is an angel that maybe some of you haven't heard of. But that pink, that like fuchsia kind of pink is jumping out at me. And stars or starfish or just stars in general are something that I associate with guidance, with heavenly guidance, with angels showing us the way. Archangel Jophiel, for those of you who don't know, is uh, the patron archangel of beauty, positive thoughts, and like new beginnings, but new beginnings in the way where like you're receiving, you're filling your life with beauty, you're filling your life with new belongings, like physical, physical new things are coming your way. So when she comes in, she's basically, I call her like the redecorating angel or like the, the, the interior designer, the redecorator. So a lot of you have already done your release. And I think that's where the withdrawing energy is coming from, Cancer. A lot of you have been going through this really long process where you've been letting go of what no longer works for you. And you've been, you know, distancing yourself from things that aren't good. And you've been releasing or letting go of toxic things or jobs or relationships. And in that withdrawn energy, you might be like, okay, well, like, but now what? You know, like I've cleared out a lot of stuff, but where's my people? Where's my tribe? Where's my stuff? And we already know midweek, you're going to have that muse energy coming in. You're going to be connecting with the first of many soul family kind of connections, but also Archangel Jophiel, I feel is going to be around you and she's guiding you and she's trying to help you. And she's trying to bring new friends, uh, new beautiful things into your life. So don't be surprised, Cancer, if as you're in this muse inspiration energy, you're also noticing a lot of beauty around you that's really moving you because Archangel Jophiel is associated with beauty. So you might be just looking and seeing, wow, you know, that sunset sure is beautiful or wow, I never realized how pretty the traffic lights were, you know, on the bus ride home or like whatever, you know, like in the evening time or like whatever, like you might be seeing beauty in very um, common or everyday things where you didn't see beauty before. But this is a sign that you're opening up to receive. This is a really big thing, even though it seems very small, it's a very big thing in the terms of your energy opening up, your energy shifting to receive. So it's an exciting time. Again, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Uh, some weeks it might resonate more or give you a little extra information. If you'd like a private reading, I'm more than happy to do that. If you click on the Calendly link, you can schedule there. And those of you who are like, but what about my love life? Um, I do love reading separate on this channel because I want you guys to have a weekly message just for you. 
Um, this, the August love readings are in the description of the video. You can click and watch the August love readings now. The September love readings, I'm going to start working on them as soon as I have all of this week's forecasts up. So they should be up in the next um, day or two over the course of the weekend. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe and hit notification and you'll get a notice when the love readings are up for September. They'll be up very soon. I thank you guys so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I'm wishing you a fabulous week, my dears.